Well, I'm trying to run out to the range real quick and uh, fire off my reloads. It's been pretty crappy the last couple of days, raining and such. That's what's headed our way right now. So hopefully I can get shooting and be done. That's off towards the uh, southwest. It's moving down from the northwest. It's coming our way. So we'll see how she goes. I'll be back. Alright guys, I wanted to do video out at the range, but it seems that I can't get out there and, uh, you know, not have it come down raining on me. And I didn't want to wait until another month. So <laughs> this is our rainy time of year and there isn't much you can do about it. So I went out um, and I was going to do video. And, but when I got there it started sprinkling out I wasn't gonna have my camera out in the rain I said I am gonna shoot this or I am gonna shoot this gun and test these loads today I don't care so keep in mind it was raining a little uh, not much more than a sprinkle but it was still coming down a little and by the time I got to the end my glasses were pretty well covered so I'll show you what I did this is the gun it's a 1911 commander series uh, three and or excuse me four and a quarter inch barrel so keep that in mind it's safe right now there you go <laughs> so I'm gonna show these one at a time I did take and uh, ran a baseline target with some federal 230 grain ball which is always shot well in it um, so I got three, one down here and one up here. I probably pulled this one. Um, this is pretty typical of my grouping with the Federal 230 grain. So I'm kind of trying to duplicate this accuracy. This is inch and a half here. Pretty small. 10 yards as my usual for handgun. So that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm shooting for is right there. Our first load was 5.2 grains of unique and I always mark my targets right up here in the corner so I know what they are and you can see they're kind of all over and uh, we don't want that so obviously we need a little bit more horsepower behind it to push it out the end of that muzzle a little faster maybe so then we went to 5.4 grains this this is a three shot group right here in this hole it's a little clover leaf and then these two now I could have pulled some of these because of the rain so you know cut me a little bit of slack <laughs> I was I supported myself on the bench I didn't bring a rest or anything with me because I was just trying to get it done and get out of there so this is the most accurate of the three charges we took out or I took out so I'm thinking the 5.4 grains of unique is going to be a pretty good load. This was the 5.6 grains. There's uh, one here, two here, and these two. And I don't, didn't feel that I pulled any, but I could have pulled this one. Regardless, there's too much of a spread there. And the 5.4 grains is... Well, I think anywhere between 5.4 and 5.6, we're going to be good. So there you go. That's part of uh, load workup. I wanted to really get some good video on it. I did uh, some loads for my 40 Smith & Wesson High Point. And you could literally watch the loads start. They started out low left. And I went up the same way, two tenths of a grain each time, and it would the the groups would gradually move up and to the left until I got to the you know and tighten up as I went. So by the time I got to a load that I liked and was shooting bullseyes with, I was having an inch and a half group dead center on the target, and I went up one more and. It, it climbed again it went to that um, up and left a little
but it just scattered them again. So that's kind of part of load workup. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things that we look at when we're uh, reloading. You know, we want to look at our primers, look at our cases, you know, make sure we're not splitting cases. If we're overcharged, we could split cases. Um, the primer, I don't know how well you can see this. This one is just beginning to flatten out. I'm sure this was the 5.6 grains. Oops. And that's okay. If you're totally flattening that primer into the primer pocket, you need to back off your load. Shouldn't be doing that. So these aren't actually a bad load. They're working out pretty well. I like the bullet. I had absolutely no function problems with any of them. Everything cycled in and out and uh, cycled the slide and everything. I do still have five more of each because I, I shot five rounds. That's all I shot and I got the heck out of there because of the rain. But I do have five more rounds of each and if I can, if it clears up in the next few days, I'll take them out there and I'll do video on it. But I wanted to get this out there for now. So, um, stay safe. God bless. Um, be careful reloading. And uh, we'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching.